Welcome to the Windows Computer Technology Channel. And um, not only did somebody ask me if there was a way that he could move on to 24H2, even if release preview is not um, showing up the uh, 24H2 build, but also there was an update in the Insider Rings uh, images that you can download. So yes, you can download the 24H2 ISO and uh, make a bootable uh, thumb drive or even a um, um, whatever you know you want to use it for to upgrade to 24H2. And uh, you can even use Rufus and do the little tricks to uh, prevent the checks or even unsupported machine. You can check it out and try it if you want. So, uh, but I don't recommend it. And uh, remember that 24H2 has some issues for some people. Uh, most of them are minor, meaning that it doesn't prevent the Windows 11 24H2 from working. But uh, there are a few good bugs here and there on that build. So what you do, simply go to the page that I will share the link here in the uh, description below and go down to the bottom of the page. Of course, you got to be logged in with a Microsoft account. And when you go down, you'll see that you have choices and you can download the Windows Insider um, 11, the Windows 11 Insider Preview release channel a 26100.560 and that will be the uh, build for 24H2 that you can install um, and then move on to the uh, latest version of Windows on your PC. So it's up to you. Uh, like I said, you don't, uh, this is really up to you if uh, you don't want any problems. I suggest that maybe you just wait but uh, that's the way that you can move on to 24H to force it on your PC or install it on a PC maybe that you're not using and you want to try it out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.